Big one. Good one. Came out of the grass and smoked it. Better fish. What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? It's Matt. Matt and the Yak, and I got eight rods in the back. So I've been out here and I've been absolutely crushing it catching redfish and speckled trout today. And I've been getting some questions about the setup that I've been using to do it. So I wanna go ahead and answer those questions today. So let's go ahead and talk about my preferred inshore wake bait setup. Okay, first what we'll go ahead and talk about is the lure. Like I said, I do like to use uh, a wake bait a lot. Y'all know if you've watched my videos or follow along with the Salt Strong videos, you are aware that I do like to use what is common as a bass fishing technique with these wake baits. These KVD Strike King wake baits uh, are absolutely phenomenal in shore. If y'all been following along, you know that I pull in some absolutely big fish with these wake baits. I pull in uh, big redfish, big speckled trout. These wake baits have helped me win more than one tournament. And I, I can assure you, I'm gonna keep throwing these because they continue to perform for me. But a lot of the performance of this bait is dependent upon the rod and reel in which you use. So I wanna go over why I like to use the rods and reel that I do on this wake bait. So let's go ahead and jump into that right now. Okay, so we'll just start with the reel and work our way down to the rod and onto the bait. So right here, I do have a Daiwa uh, 3000 BGMQ. Now, the reason I like to use this BGMQ is because it's actually super durable. The reel itself, despite the fact of what I'm catching with it, this reel right here is absolutely phenomenal. I've dunked a couple of these on accident uh, on the right-hand side of me while trying to take care of a fish on my left and immediately I wash them down with some fresh water and I have never had any problems from this one or any of my others. And this BGMQ has an amazing line pickup speed. So they're pulling in at almost three feet per turn. So that allows you to have a good speed on this lure without having to overwork yourself on the turn of the handle. Now, there is a really great video that tells you all about the BGMQ and what makes it specifically amazing. And I'm not gonna get too much into that. Justin Ritchie did an awesome video on that. So if you would, check out uh, Justin, our head of tackles video on the BGMQ. This is an amazing reel. And I don't wanna get into much of the specifics or ergonomics of this reel, but I wanna tell you why I like to use it with this wake bait. So not only does it have a great pickup speed, this has uh, really great gears on the inside so that I don't have to worry about when I hook up to those big fish, I don't have to worry about any flex in the reel. And I also don't have to worry about those gears not responding if a big fish goes to take a run. I don't have to worry about them stripping out those gears. When I do get control, I can bring that fish back on in and I don't have to worry about the mechanics on the inside of this reel failing me from a big fish. Now, another reason I like to use this reel specifically is because of the weight. Uh, this reel is actually very light for the strength of it. However, this reel right here is a little bit heavier than say a Fuego or a Ballistic MQ. And the weight of this reel right here balances really well with these TFO professionals. So let's go ahead and talk about the TFO professional and why I like to use it with these wake baits. So as you all know, just like I do, these TFOs tend to run a little bit heavier. They tend to run a little more stiff. But when I'm using a wake bait, that does not at all bother me because uh, that stiff rod with less action actually helps me keep this bait at the surface of the water. That way, the lip of this bait does not want to dig down further in the water column, which could potentially cause me to hang up on any submerged grass that's in the area. Say I'm fishing submerged uh, seagrass uh, or a grass flat in an area, and I want to skim this wake bait right over that grass. And this TFO professional does a great job with this stiff tip of keeping that bait near the surface. Now, another reason I like this is again, because it does have a bit of a slower action. As you can see, the bend in this rod starts much higher than most rods. And what that actually allows me to do is when I'm casting this, it actually allows me to get better load up on this heavier weighted uh, wake bait 
and it allows me to get quicker response time when a fish goes to hit this wake bait. Now, with those bigger fish that like to eat this wake bait, often what they'll do is hit it and run straight at you. Another strength of this reel is that you can get them to you quickly and pick up that slack so that you don't lose any response time from that lure. Now, in conjunction with this rod, being that it has a slower action and that it keeps this lure further at the surface of the water, when you do get a strike from one of those fish, it allows immediate response time from this rod. So as soon as that fish goes to hit this lure and gets one of those hooks in their mouth, even if they run straight at you, because this is a very stiff rod, they cannot shake these hooks as easily as they could if it were a rod with a much more moderate action that say bent further down the blank. So this rod paired with this reel actually make a great combination for the wake bait. The reel balances very well with the rod. The rod often stiffer than many other inshore rods that we may like to use, but it's a perfect combination for a wake bait. I can cast a really good distance with this reel and this rod. It allows for really good load up on this bait, so it gives me great distance, which is what I'm looking for when I'm trying to cover large areas with this wake bait. I can make sure I can get a really nice long cast, or if I'm just looking to kind of whip into a spot or a cut, I'm able to do that with this rod as well. So I am using this on a 7.6 TFO Professional. This is a medium. Again, I do think that these TFOs run a bit heavier, so that is why I like to use this medium rather than say a medium heavy. This medium does still give me a lot of really great response time. I have great sensitivity with this rod, so when a fish does hit the bait, I know it immediately. I'm not losing any sensitivity but this rod being that it is a bit more stiffer does pair really well with this wake bait one of the hidden gems of this rod that I do really like and I want to point out is this uh, weedless hook keep right here as you guys know I do change out my uh, hooks normally for single inline hooks and just like on this wake bait I have uh, single inlines and those can often be a little bit more of a headache to try and put on a hook keep but with these uh, weedless hook keeps that you have here on the TFO Professional, I'm able to easily secure that bait and put it behind me for the next time I'm ready to use it. That weedless hook keep I know may not be a huge selling point for a lot of people, but I really, really like it. Again, I do have this TFO Professional paired with the BGMQ 3000, and I wanna tell you about the line and leader a little bit too, just so we can kind of familiarize ourselves with the type of setup you want completely. So this BGMQ right here, it is spooled up with 15 pound braid. Not 10, not 20, it's right there in the middle. And the reason I like to do that is because of those big fish. I do often get some really large fish and those big fish often like to make long runs and those big fish are smarter. They will head straight to structure after they've been hooked. They'll look for any way to free themselves. And this 15 pound line just gives me a little bit extra comfort when I'm pulling in those bigger fish. Fish. Now, as far as my leader line, I do like to use 30 pound leader. That's because, again, I do often catch big fish. And another perk to uh, that leader line is when you beef up your leader line, you have less issues of the leader line right here getting hooked up on the first hook right there. Often what you'll have is that front hook may foul up on your line right there, but if you are using 30 pound leader, that just helps prevent that from happening as much as that 30 pound leader is much stiffer and tends to stay straighter. Now, I know you've probably been looking really closely. I do have a clip right there. That's so that I can quickly change out these colors of wake baits because I do often change colors depending on the water clarity. I travel a lot, so these speed clips are just an easy way for me to uh, change out those wake baits when I want to. Again, that's a Norman speed clip. I've only been testing it out for a little while, uh, but so far I really don't have anything too bad to say. I have not had one fail on me, but I'll keep doing some tests on these. If you guys are interested in these, let me know down in the comments and I'll do a full review on these Norman speed clips as well. But just let me know uh, if that's something you'd want to see in the comments. So again, 
overall i do think these tfo professionals with the bgmq i will say this i will say that the reel is probably of secondary importance if you're looking for something to match that wake bait uh, primarily I would definitely shoot for the rod first you can always upgrade the reel later but this rod has a great action for those surface style baits that you're trying to keep a steady retrieve on like this wake bait because it does a great job of uh, keeping that bait at the surface for me and not letting it dig down with this stiffer action rod I am able to cast this wake bait a really long distance so that's a huge perk for me and when I do get a bite on this lure I'm able to get immediate response time from this rod because there isn't as much flex or bend uh, this rod is less parabolic than many others so when a fish does go to hit on this lure I can get immediate hook set from this rod Again, the reel, this is a BGMQ 3000. I do have it spooled up with 15 pound Daiwa J braid, eight grand. That is 30 pound liter going up to uh, the, the weight bait. And this BGMQ is a great, great reel, not just overall. As you can see, I do have many of these behind me. And I also uh, have them on many of my other setups. I just think they're great reels. For a really powerhouse of a reel, this thing is super lightweight and it can actually perform in just about every application I can put it through in inshore. These things have continued to pull monster redfish, speckled trout, flounder, and this has actually caught me a snook. So I'm super confident in saying that this reel right here matches not only really well with this rod, but pairs perfectly with the wake bait as well. Again, I have been using this wake bait a long time, not just this one. As you can see, it's been battle scarred quite a bit, but I've been using this wake bait and many others. And I've been uh, continuously throwing this them on this TFO Professional. And you guys have seen me pull in some units with this rod right here. I'm confident to say that this will be my wake bait setup for quite some time. I can't say that it will stay permanent, but I can say that I am very, very happy with the performance of of this entire setup as a whole. Now, if you're interested in picking up either the wake bait, this TFO professional rod, or this Daiwa BGMQ, you can pick up all of those at our online tackle shop at fishstrong.com. Keep in mind our insider members do get exclusive discount. So if you're interested in some stellar discounts, be sure to check us out at saltstrong.com. And if you're interested in some more tips like this, or there's some other lures that you would like me to review or talk about, be sure to let me know about those down in the comments as well. If there's some other bass fishing lures that you think would make great inshore application lures, be sure to let me know about those as well. I'm always interested in trying out new stuff. So again, you can find all of this gear in our tackle shop at fishstrong.com. Be sure to leave those questions and comments for me in the comments section. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the number one online fishing club in America. We actually guarantee to help you find and catch more fish, save money on tackle, make friends while doing it, or it's free. So we hope to see you in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon, and thanks for watching.